Norman Alstead Jr. Norman Alstead Jr. was 11 years old when his plane crashed into the San Gabriel Mountains during a blizzard. His father died during the crash, and he was left with his father's girlfriend, Sandra, who suffered from a broken arm and a severe head injury. Unfortunately, during the storm, Sandra had fallen down the mountainside to her death. Against all odds, Norman plunged forward and made the trek down the mountain until nine hours later, he was finally rescued. Aaron Ralston In April of 2003, Aaron Ralston was hiking through Blue John Canyon in Utah. During his hike, a boulder had dislodged and trapped his arm against the rock wall. He survived five days on 12 fluid ounces of water and two burritos. The first three days, Aaron did what he could to try and pull his arm out, but to his dismay, failed. After that, he started getting things together to amputate his arm. In order to do so, he had to break his own radius and ulna and spend an hour removing the rest of the arm with a cheap two-inch knife. He had eight miles to walk to find his truck, but luckily ran into a family who gave him Oreos, water, and alerted the police. Six hours after amputating his arm, Aaron Ralston was rescued. Ricky McGee Waking up face down in a hole with dingoes trying to eat you isn't necessarily the best way to wake up. In 2006, Ricky McGee, an Australian man who had been drugged by a hitchhiker after his car broke down, survived 70 days in the Australian outback. McGee had built himself a shelter by a dam and survived off of eating raw leeches, grasshoppers, and drying out frogs. Instead of moving forward to find civilization, McGee stayed mostly at his shelter. After accidentally jumping out in front of a farmer's jeep, Ricky McGee was taken to a hospital where he was treated for malnourishment. Coolidge Wine Set After retiring, we imagine a peaceful life filled with fishing, gardening, and relaxing. Coolidge Wine Set, a 75-year-old retiree from Virginia, could not have predicted the situation he was about to get himself into. Wine Set commonly used an outhouse in order to relieve himself, until one day the dry rot got the best of him. He had fallen through the outhouse and into the playpen of his own waste. Wineset was stuck for three days, unable to get out of the five foot or one and a half meter hole due to being partially paralyzed after a stroke. A male person became concerned with the unchecked mail and decided to check on him. Hearing Wineset's calls for help and seeing his crutch still outside the outhouse led to Wineset's rescue from the Dookie of Hazard. Amy Racina. Amy Racina planned on a 17-day solo trek in California at the Kings Canyon National Park. On day 12, Amy was hiking on a hillside that gave away under her, plummeting the outdoors woman 60 feet or 18 meters into a ravine, where she shattered bones in both legs and broke her hip. Knowing that no one would come to look for Amy for another five days, she spent three days and nights dragging herself with her hands through the ravine until another hiker heard her calling for help. Soon afterwards, she was flown to a nearby hospital. Mauro Prosperi In 1994, Mauro Prosperi entered Marathon de Sable, which translates to Marathon of the Sands, in the Sahara Desert. Participants were told not to move forward during a sandstorm, which was the exact opposite of what Prosperi did. He ended up off course, and after 36 hours and running out of food and water, Prosperi found an abandoned Muslim shrine where he ate bats and used his own urine for a source of hydration. Not wanting to die in that fashion, he attempted to kill himself by slitting his wrist with a knife he had on him. Due to the dehydration, his blood became thicker and clotted. After nine days of venturing in the Sahara Desert, Prosperi was found and taken to a nearby hospital, Julianne Kapka. On December 24th of 1971, Lanza Flight 508 was struck by lightning and split over the Peruvian rainforest, leading to the death of 91 out of the 92 passengers. Julianne Kupka was still buckled into her seat as she plunged 10,000 feet or 3,050 meters through the rainforest canopy before landing on the ground. The 17-year-old survived the crash with a severe cut on her right arm, a broken collarbone, and an eye swollen shut. With only sweets that she found for food, Julianne spent nine days making her way through the rainforest vegetation until she found a stream and followed it until she found a boat and shelter. At this point, the wound on her arm was severely infected, so Julianne used gasoline for her wound and counted dozens of maggots crawling out of her skin. Not wanting to steal the boat, she stayed there until her rescuers came and took her to the hospital. Matt Suter 
Imagine lounging around your grandmother's trailer in nothing but your underwear, when all of a sudden, a tornado decides to take you on a 1,300 feet or 400 meter joyride. On March 12th of 2006, Matt Suter, a 19-year-old student from Missouri, was lifted out of a trailer by a tornado. The only injuries he had were minor cuts and one head wound that required five staples. After landing, he made it to a neighbor's house to soon find out his other family members survived under the remains of the trailer. Matt holds the world record for longest distance carried by a tornado. Hugh Glass In August of 1823, Hugh Glass was part of a fur trapping group in Perkins County, South Dakota, when he surprised a grizzly bear with two cubs. After his trapping partners killed the bear, Glass was left with exposed ribs, superated wounds, and a broken leg. Two men were directed to stay with him until he died, but shortly after the group left, they did too. After gaining consciousness, Glass set his own leg and used bear hide to wrap it. He leaned against the rotting tree to let the maggots eat his flesh to prevent gangrene, before surviving six weeks on roots and berries until he made it to the Cheyenne River. There, he ran into friendly Native Americans who gave him enough supplies until he finally made it back to Fort Kiowa. Harrison Okine Harrison Okine was a cook on a tugboat that had capsized in May 2013. After going underwater, he had barricaded himself in a room where he was trapped and surrounded by sharks and barracudas that were eating the remains of the other crew members on the boat. Harrison Okine survived within an air pocket for over two days on just one can of Coke while sitting on two mattresses trying to stay afloat. A dive crew came to retrieve the bodies of the crew members, and to their surprise, they found Harrison. Now that Okine is back home with his family, he made a vow to God that he would never go to sea again.